Rockwood aged for that clean, crisp taste. This bug's for you. By your Central Indiana Chevy dealers. In Central Indiana, we drive Chevy. And by Bank One, we're 18,000 people who care. A capacity crowd expected to be on hand by tip-off time tonight here in Assembly Hall as the Ohio State Buckeyes 9-7 and seven in the conference go against the 7-9 Indiana Hoosiers. Hello, everyone. Chuck Marlowe along with John Laskowski. Well, as it all comes down to this final weekend, Indiana sitting 7-9, and 9-7 nine, nine and Ohio, a battle for sixth place. Even the conference race isn't over. It's, it's going to boil down to the last weekend, and a lot of times in the race it does. Let's take a look now at the top division. All those teams will go to the NCAA tournament, and Michigan State and Purdue will fight it out for the conference title this weekend. The second five is interesting. Ohio State and Indiana are going six and seven. The conference has never had seven teams go, but if Indiana wins both of their games, they could tie Ohio State. Okay, suppose Indiana wins both, suppose Ohio State loses both. Will they take seven? Well, I guess we'll know that Sunday afternoon, but that's Indiana's best shot. They've got to win both their games. Okay, lads, how about the matchups in this game? What do we see? Ohio State goes with Jim Jackson, this week voted freshman of the year. He's a good, good outside shooter. He played a good game against Indiana back in January. And for Indiana, another freshman, Calvert Cheney. What do we expect from him? Calvert's had a wonderful year. He's shooting well from the outside. He's got a good drive. Ohio State's going to have to stop him today. All right, 69-67 to score the last game at Columbus, Ohio. Second game coming up, starting lineups in just a minute. Set, you can see the clock, the upper right-hand corner at double zero, the buzzer, and there it is. As you look at the two coaches, Randy Ayers in his first season, and he's done very well, 15-11, of course, Bob Knight, with a career spanning 25 years overall. We're all set to get things underway. Here with the starting lineups is Chuck Craig. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Indiana University welcomes you to the Assembly Hall at this final Big Ten weekend of our 1990 schedule. Let's meet now the starting lineups for tonight's game. For Ohio State, at one forward, a 6'7 sophomore from Sparta, New Jersey. Number 21, Chris Jett. And for Indiana, at forward, a 6'8 sophomore from Chesterton, Indiana. Number 24, Matt Goldberg. Another forward for the Buckeyes, a 6'6 freshman from Toledo, Ohio. Number 22, Jim Jackson. And for Indiana at the other forward, a 6'6 freshman from Evansville, Indiana. Number 40, Calvert Creek. The center for Ohio State, a 6'8 junior from Washington, D.C. Number 32, Perry Carter. In the middle for Indiana, he's a 6'9 sophomore from Chicago, Illinois, number 32, Ellen Houston. What guard for Ohio State, a 6'1 sophomore from Dayton, Ohio, number 3, Mark Baker. And at guard for Indiana, a 6'3 freshman from Indianapolis, Indiana, number 20, Greg Graham. The other starting guard for the Buckeyes, a 6'4 sophomore from Arlington, Texas, number 30, Jamal Brown. Rounding out Indiana's starting lineup at guard, a 6' sophomore from Freeport, Illinois, number 23, Jamal Hills. The head coach for the Ohio State University in his first season at Columbus, Randy Ayers. The head coach of the Hoosiers, now finishing his 19th season in Bloomington, Bob Knight. All right, we're set to get things underway. The officials calling tonight's game three veterans, Tom Rucker on your left, Jim Bain, and Phil Boba. Is from Cleveland, Ohio, has his son down last. Son's watching now you play for the first time at Assembly Hall. Both teams real young, Chuck. Ohio State goes with three sophomores, a junior, and a freshman. And of course, that freshman, Jim Jackson, interesting to see the matchup between Cheney and Jackson. They finished 1-2 in freshman of the year. Both teams struggled early, and now they're both coming into form. Indiana changes their lineup a little bit. Greg Graham gets to start. 
instead of Pat Graham as you take a look at the series. Indiana 16 and 1 against Ohio State here at Assembly Hall. But Indiana's going to have to stop Carter. Jackson's not going to beat Ohio, uh, beat Indiana by himself. So Perry Carter's the key. Anderson will have the key matchup there. And since Ohio State has put Baker in the lineup, they've really started playing well. Carter has been a hot and cold player. And speaking of hot, this crowd here at Assembly Hall rallies to support their Hoosiers before even the opening tip. The referee, Tom Rucker, will toss it up. Nover and Carter. And Ohio State controls the tip. This is back to Baker. Ohio State can go with any one or any two, actually, of three guards. Alex Davis, who is not a starter, Jamal Brown, and Baker. It's down low to Carter. That's not going to go. And Indiana, with good borders, Jamal Meeks got jammed underneath, but Cheney came up with the rebound. Now Meeks. Down on the side. Good defensive adjustment. Jackson on Cheney. Tipped away, but look how quickly Jamal is back. Back down to Anderson. He's alone. And it's short. Takes a deep bound. And out to Mark Baker, the 6'1 sophomore from Dayton, Ohio. Now Jackson to Gent. Gent's a left-handed player and really is only a threat if he can get up off the baseline. The shot is good. We have a foul underneath. That's going to go against Indiana. Brown's basket will count. Still Bowman with the call. It goes against Matt Nover. Look out! Look out! Nover's first, the team first. And this could be a four-point swing. Ohio State's got good team quickness. Both sizes, or both teams are about the same size that positions all across the board. Ohio State may have a little more quickness, and they're trying to use that now. Brown leans in and gets the drop and the roll of the ball. So Jamal Brown with four points in just a little bit over a minute, and Ohio State has taken the lead, 4 nothing. Both teams have played man-to-man -man defense. Indiana's got to move the ball around well and get good shots, and if anybody drives, it should be Cheney on the baseline. Last Indiana can ill afford to get down by nine again. They did that two times against the Buckeyes over there. That's long over everything by Nover. Not quite enough time on that possession. They need to move the ball around a little more. Ohio State will run with it if they get that turnover. Indiana doesn't want to get into a running game. Carter just felt the presence of Nover up high on him and made that quick wheel to the baseline for two. And that's his biggest asset. He's very quick. When he gets that ball on the block, he just made that spin move to his left, and that's a basket. And Indiana throws it away. Well, not off to a very good start. Six nothing. Indiana shot well from the field in the last game, and Indiana had its problems. Indiana a little flat here at the start, just two minutes in the ball game. Indiana still not on the scoreboard. Jim out high inside the Carter off the post. And that was a pretty good defense against him that time as Carter, I think, probably forced it. Inside Cheney. Here's Cheney outside, rather. That was Graham inside. 20 is Graham. Cheney is 40. And the two by Calvert Cheney puts Indiana on the board. Graham made the play, though, as he drove inside. The defense had to come in to stop him, and now whistle. Well, it's first turnover against Ohio State, so both teams now just a little bit cautious, a little bit tentative in the early going, although Ohio State scored the first three baskets. They played two and a half minutes, 6 2, the Buckeyes. Now Graham looking to Anderson. Cheney. Here's Anderson and a good fake. Loses the ball. Chases it down. No foul. Really pressured out toward that baseline and sideline. Graham. Nover. Back out to Meeks. Anderson will fire and takes the board right into the hands of Perry Carter. Ohio State keeps real good pressure defensively, even with Anderson with that shot. He had a hand in his face. Quick shot this time by Baker. Here comes the Hoosier. Nover. Pass Gent to Cheney for two. Assist to Nover. Cheney gets the bucket. You can see how much movement is important to an offense. That time a weak side cut from Cheney. Nover was able to see him and get the pass right to him. Got to have movement on the offense. That won't go. Here comes Graham after clearing the board. Indiana with a chance to tie. Three and a half minutes 
have gone by, and that's knocked away. And stolen back by Indiana. Good hands by Cheney and Graham. No, won't fall. Carter. Indiana's getting the shots they want. Haven't got a couple to fall. They probably should have. Turns it over. Jim Bain says Indiana ball. Both teams a little sloppy here in the early going. Look at Randy Ayers. He's done a fine job with this young Ohio State team in his first year. It's the second turnover now for Ohio State. A little press. You won't see Ohio State press a lot, though. Leaks trying to get something going. Anderson drops it inside, forces it up to the basket. Nover deflects the ball out of bounds, and they're going to award that to Ohio State. Timeout, 15.45 left to play, 6 for Ohio State. We're in the first half. And we'll be back after these messages. Audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this broadcast without the express prior written consent of the Big Ten Conference is prohibited. Both teams off to a little shaky start. They don't seem to be shooting well, as you can see the stats there. The turnovers are uh, a little sloppy. I think the game will calm down here. Score still close. Jackson. Inbounds to Baker, and up comes Ohio State, leading by two. Whistle inside, and we have a, almost a stationary foul call against number 22, Jimmy Jackson. He's trying to back in for position. Randy Ayers doesn't agree with the call, but Jim Bain, Bain makes it underneath. Indiana has the ball out of bounds. Ohio State threatens a press. Meeks will break it up right across the side and center. Indiana's got to be patient on their offense. They're moving. A little too quickly. That shot's going up too quickly. Going to run some more time off. See if Ohio State will make a defensive mistake to give Indiana a good shot. Meeks on the wing. Anderson cutting through. He leans in. Novus, look at Novus. Tied for that ball. Whoa. Perfect timing there. You see Anderson making that cut across the middle. But Nover had excellent position and great time. We're tied at six. And we played five minutes. Oh, Jackson with a good move around Cheney. It's not going to go. Loose ball on the court. Good hustle by Meeks. Here comes Green. Oh, they have Cheney wide open on the other side. Meeks. And he trapped. Phil Bolo making the call. He was thinking of taking that jump shot, and as the defense came toward him, he wanted to drive around the basket, but took that extra step for the trap. Officially, turnovers tied at two. Jackson works to the left side. And the ball is given up to Jamal Brown. Now Jackson, how quickly he goes from left to right. Gent from outside. Oh, plenty of room for three. If he gets time to take that three-pointer, he can make it. That happened over at Ohio State in the first game. And there you see he just got beyond that three-point lane and gave Ohio State a three-point lead. Jim had 11 against Indiana over there. He's only averaging seven in Big Ten play. Remember, he got all those in the first half, too. He had 11 first half points. A nice step up by Calvert Cheney. And Cheney has six of Indiana's eight. It's 9 8 Ohio State. Jackson leading the Buckeyes with a nearly 19 point average. Tipped away. Good defense by the Hoosiers. And he has got to be aggressive on defense. And it's plays like that, just deflections. Let's get a good look at Coach Knight, just finishing up his 19th year here at Indiana. All right, Baker will set it well off the top of the key. Back to Jackson. One for offense. The forward will break out, and then the uh, center man looks to post up. They've got two centers on each side. That was way off the mark. Here's Graham. Graham looks again. And who's coming out for the ball? It's Jamal. Meeks looks. Graham for three. Nope. Mark Baker quickly up the court. Oh, what a wheeling move. But look how Indiana's in there for the board. That's on um, possession going to go to Indiana on the tie-up. Let's take a look. Let's watch that fast break. Here's Baker. He's trying to keep the lane spread. He faked left and went right. And the roll just didn't go. And Indiana had two players in there, but Carter tied it up. 
Indiana with a three on two. Off to Norbert. Oh, what a quick move! He left the bat, left the floor from this side of the basket, and then went all the way around, twisting for that stuff shot. Rob into Carter, back out to Jackson. Indiana with a 10-9 lead. Brown, it gets Meeks off his feet, but a travel before the contact. And Ohio State, Randy Ayers wants a timeout. 12-42, left first half. It's Indiana 10-9. We'll be back. This is the Raycom Sports and Entertainment Network. If we okay, let's take a look at that again. Oh, this is going to be in a lot of highlight films. Watch Matt Nover coming from your right. Watch he leaves from the this side of the basket, spins, and still goes up for the dunk. What a play. While we have a moment, I want to remind you of something coming up here at Indiana. It's called Hoosier Sports Family Day. It'll be on Saturday, April 7th, and uh, it's sponsored by the Indiana University Athletic Department. Starts with a breakfast at uh, 8 o'clock at Memorial Stadium. Then you're going to watch the Cream and Crimson Inter Squad game. IU men's tennis, softball, women's golf, and soccer. A full day of festivities here on the IU campus. I'd like to have you join us. April 7th, a Saturday. Anderson drops inside. Not going to get it to fall. Look at Nover fight for the ball. But Jet clears it out for the Buckeyes. Nover's really hitting the boards well. I think those two dunk shots he's made has really uh, increased his intensity. Meeks after the missed shot by Ohio State. Graham looking at Bowie. Nover had posted up, but it might have been a tough pass. Nover trying to set a screen underneath to free uh, Cheney. Here's Cheney. Steps inside the trap. Ohio State switching on some of those picks, and although it looks like Cheney's open, when he gets the ball, that man is switched out on him, and that forced him to shuffle his feet that time. We are at 10-9. Ticking down to 11 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. It's been a seesaw game. Ohio State jumping out to a 6-0 lead. Baker, as Graham backs down, stopping the potential drive. Baker gets inside, knocked away by Meeks. Good hands. Meeks draws up, scores! Well, he did it all to steal in the two. Jamal has been shooting well from the outside. Did very good in the Wisconsin game. Comes down on that fast break and hits it. Jim tries to rub off Meeks. Baker, now to Brown. Inside pass, Jim fires again all along, and that's another three. Just as you said, Laz, you can't give him that room. If he gets time to set up, he's not afraid to take that shot. That's two he's hit now. Blocking foul, and that is going against Mark Baker, the Dayton, Ohio sophomore. Number three, he sat out last year, did not play. All Ohio with Dunbar. Davis checks in, and Davis will replace Baker. Alex Davis, a 6'1 freshman from Forest Park in Cincinnati. And Indiana is stationing itself for this inbounds at midcourt. He comes back to Meeks at 11 minutes remaining. We're tied at 12. The Buckeyes and the Hoosiers, game two, knocked away. Good defense. Tough passing angle that time. The defense was all around it and got the steal. I'll tell you, Perry Carter has been trying to get that post pivot move working and just can't come near the rim. Indiana with good board position. Cheney, he just sets himself in motion. Misses, knocked away. Out of bounds, Tom Rucker. Good call. Fans didn't like it. Say hello tonight to Mrs. Edith Ferris, who is 88 years old, watching all the Indiana basketball games, except, as her daughter says, the 9.30 ones. <laughs> Jim will let three more go. Look out. Look out. Now that time, Anderson came out to give good pressure, but Jim just has that feeling now. His third three-pointer. He has nine already over his average. 15-12 Ohio State. That's how the three can kill you. Graham down to the line, and it's not going to go, but he gets a foul on the big man. See Greg Graham with his quickness that time. 
He's covered on the outside. When you get pressure up there, look at Baker out there on him. You've got to make that drive around. Carter has to come to help, and Carter draws the foul. That was Jamal Brown on the defense initially. Greg Graham, 78% from the line, the 6'3 freshman from Warren Central, averaging eight and a half points a game. Here's the second. And he gets this to fall, so Indiana's deficit is two, 15-13. Ohio State Gent lets the ball get through his hands, but a quick recovery. He is decidedly left-handed. So if you get him on the baseline, the best thing to do is keep him down there. But he's been playing out on top last, and that's made him even more difficult. Knocked away out of bounds. Good defense by Indiana. Underneath. That's an intended shot right under the rim. With Jen on the outside, Anderson's guarding him defensively. That puts one of Indiana's better rebounders outside. As you see Perry Carter come out of the ball game. Bill Robinson, seven foot, 240 comes in. So Nova really has his hands full now. Robinson played out of Canton, Ohio. He's a sophomore. Jackson tries to keep Meeks at bay. Jen inside. Boy, does he lay it off. Well, he's done it again. That's 11 points now in this half. He had 11 in the first half at Ohio State and really has done the bulk of the Ohio State scoring to give them that four-point lead. 17-13. Graham down to Anderson. Back to Graham. Anderson will fire. That's partially blocked. And Jim is there to pick up the loose ball. Jackson with good quickness. Anderson was open, but Jackson able to recover in time. All the way over to Jackson. He'll let it fly. Oh, now they've got some rhythm going. He's a streak shooter also. In the first game when he got hot, he built his confidence to take that shot more, and he's got two now. Four out of four for Ohio State from the three-point line. And Indiana is down by seven. No call by the official. Two red shirts on it. Times in the past, you could see that call is traveling. Davis will let three go. Anderson with an easy step up to clear that board. And now the Hoosiers desperately in need of two. And there they are, Matt Nover. Two players that you don't think would do a lot of scoring, Jen, for Ohio State. Matt Nover for Indiana. He's really in there for his defense, but that's his sixth point. Now it's a 2015 game. Over steps out to slow down Brown. Jackson will fire over Graham. Oh, that is just off everything. And they called double dribble against Indiana. Phil Bola blew the whistle, and then Tom Rucker made the call. 7.22 left. We have a timeout. 15 to 20, Indiana trailing by five. We'll be back after this word from Anheuser-Busch. Play of the game, Amex is making a contribution to the Indiana University Library Fund. There's the score, time remaining, first half. Pat Graham has replaced Greg Graham for Indiana at the 722 mark. Look at Nover with his six points. See, Ohio State's outscored Indiana 11 to 3 in the last four minutes and three seconds to take that five point lead. They want to go inside to Carter. This is Brown. There's the post by Carter. And feeds it back to Brown. Robinson. Got some height in there now with Robinson. There's a turnover. A little shuffle of the feet by Alex Davis. And it costs Ohio State a chance to extend the lead. Look for Graham to create some more offense for Indiana, either with that outside shot or a nice drive. He's had two good games, 17 and 21 points in his last two ball games, and there he is on the dribble. You saw the turnovers even now at five. And Mobile's moving out to pick up the ball. There it is. And to me. Now Cheney. Not enough, not enough movement inside. You see there aren't a lot of picks being set, although Jamal makes a cut across the middle there. 
Anderson goes back up through Robinson. Robinson gets an arm, and Eric will go to the line. Yeah, using one point guard outside, and then on the 1 4 offense, two players on either side of the lane. Now, watch Anderson. Here's a shot going up. Robinson doesn't block out. He moves backwards, but not into Anderson and leaves Eric open. Good offensive rebound by Eric. He seems to be off on his shot today. He's missed a couple from the outside. That free throw strong. And you see Chris Reynolds check in the lineup, and he replaces Jamal Meek. A little better rhythm that time. Anderson's first point. Substitution is Jackson. Jimmy comes back in. Replacing Jamal Brown. Brown is 6'4 sophomore from Arlington, Texas. It's just outside the Dallas Fort Worth area. 2016. This is trailing by four. Jackson puts the ball right in front of Pat. Just almost funny to take it. And from the side, three more. Alex Davis. They, when they are a three-point shooting team, they shoot them. And yet, amazingly so, Laz, they're only 33% from that area. Not known as three-point shooting team. Jackson's really their best shooter, but it's Gent, and that time Davis with the shot. Cheney. Indiana down by seven. Reynolds starts a drive, drops it off to Graham. Graham for three! Reynolds really set him up that time. That drive inside forces the defense to make some choices. Pat Graham stayed home, but the ball came back to him. Now Ohio State leading 23-19 as Davis picks up the loose ball. Jackson whistle underneath. We have uh, an offensive foul against Ohio State. And let's wait and see who that's against. It's against 54. It's Bill Robinson's second. A big seven-foot sophomore. He's picked up a couple of fouls here in the last uh, three minutes. Reynolds trying to direct some offense and trying to swing past Davis. Billy Graham. Graham cuts away now. Nobody comes back. There's Anderson. A lot better moving on the offense. You saw Nova was open and yelled for the ball, but didn't get it there. Comes into him again. Oh, what a great post pivot. He sees him moving a lot more confidently, and he's not afraid to move with the ball. Once he gets it, he either he makes that stuff shot or he turns to the basket, takes his shot right away. That's a good sign that a player's in the ball game. Indiana is down by two. Carter tries to go right through. Misses the shot, tipped up again, knocked out of bounds into the Ohio State ball. Pat Graham last to touch. Ohio State really banged the board that time. Robinson just with that long arm. And then Jackson tried to keep it up. Let's watch Carter just muscles inside, but Anderson came from behind to block that. Carter missed a little layup. And then Robinson is reaching in there. Graham has to swat it away out of bounds. Craig Lee replaces Robinson for the Buckeyes. Lee, a 6'8 junior from Cleveland. Jackson goes right down to Carter, gets it back for three. No, that's not going to go. Indiana really fighting for the ball. Davis taken out of his hands by Nover, right back again, foul on Graham. Now Nover makes the great steal, but then Davis sneaks right back in as Nover's giving the outlet pass to Graham. Pat picks up the foul. There's only the second foul against Indiana. Neither team in the bonus situation is yet. Ohio State with only five fouls. And we have 420 remaining. Baker, oh, look how quick he is. Knocked away. Baker works it back out again. Bob Knight wanted a travel. No call. Tip in basket. Now double dribble as he dribbled into the lane, then stopped, and then made another dribble, but the no call there. Carter gets the tip in. Terry Carter's second field goal. Pass along the baseline by Reynolds intended for Graham, picked off by Baker. Here's Davis. Davis pulls up and up off the glass. Anderson with his back right against Terry Carter. And really worked hard for that rebound. 25 21. Reynolds. Anderson wants to go inside. 
he travels. Officials time out, 3.22 left. The score, 25-21. Ohio State will be back in a minute. This is the Raycom Sports and Entertainment Network. A hard time of getting control of the pace of the game. And for the most part, that seems to be uh, fairly true here. All right, Ohio State still has uh, control of the tempo. Indiana's offense not really uh, doing what they want to right now. They're only four points down. Ohio State's made a few turnover mistakes. Neither team shooting well from the field, as you see there on the graphic. All right, Jim is back in, and you just can't stay off him. Lee, fans wanted to travel there. Baker knocked away. Oh, that almost went in. Jackson will shoot over Anderson. No good. And a foul. And that's going to be Perry Carter over the back of Eric Anderson. Carter's second person. Ohio State's really taking some wild shots. That's three or four now that have come hard off that board. And Carter draws the foul there. So here's a little full court press now. Boy, Reynolds just broke that right up court and then tried a very, very quick pass through the arms of Baker. And Baker was able to deflect that out of bounds. There's a picture of the coach. But a struggling year, 429 and 146 here at IU is one lost record. Cheney, uh, that's not going to go. It takes a long bound into the hands of Jackson. And up court quickly to Gent. Too much room for him out there on the wing. Robinson back in, backs over, and it won't fall. Tipped away. Throws it right back into the hands of Pat Graham. Pat leads. Two points, Chris Reynolds. A right, good break by Reynolds. He knew that there was a two-on-one. The defense never stopped him, and he used good quickness to get to the basket. 25-23, Indiana trailing. And we're down nearing the two-minute mark remaining first half. Jeff knocked away. Nover on the lead to Graham. He'll solo. And a foul. And that goes against Baker. Baker's second. You know, I... I I don't like to editorialize in the game, but that's a case. They don't need two fouls on Baker. That's a case, I think, where he really has to give up the two points. Watch Matt Nover moving well to get around without creating the foul. Picks the ball up, a nice lead pass. Here comes Baker, and there's the foul. Pat Grant can't get that one to go. Pat, one of the better oh, free throw shooters on the Indiana team at 83 percent, hits his first. Brown replaces Baker. Jamal Brown, a communications major. You see 17 points for Pat. He was four out of four from that three-point line. Got a lot more confidence in his offense these last two ball games. And he hits both those free throws, and we're tied at 25. And we're at the two-minute mark. It's the pass of a crowd. Showing its support of the way the Hoosiers are playing so far in this first half. And the hold outside. Bill Burton stops the action. Foul is on Reynolds. Number one on him, number three on the team. Chris is using his hands instead of moving his feet. That was nearly a travel, but the official felt that because Reynolds used his hands to slow the progress, that was a foul. But again, Indiana's only 13 foul. And so Ohio State just gets the ball out of bounds. Davis and Jackson. Jackson staying right in that three-point area. Back to Robinson. There's Cheney slipping back up. Jackson fires and scores. Jimmy Jackson, he has all the shots. Looked like he gave up that open three-point shot to make the drive, and then he became well-guarded and then makes a tougher shot. 27-25 inside. Anderson drops it. Nover wants to work for the shot. He's on the line, says Jim Bain. And we have a player down, Eric Anderson, is holding that right leg. Anderson is hurt. Tim Garl, the trainer. See where he's grabbing on that leg. It looks like, it doesn't look like the knee or the ankle. It looks like the shin. Well, it's hard to, at this stage, speculate. Now, Dr. Brad Bomba in the... Uh, and coach walking out there now to attend him as both teams have assembled around their coaches. Let's see, maybe we can see it. All right, let's watch the lower leg there. 
Action's real quick there. You can't really see, but I don't think it's a uh, knee. It looks like he's in pretty good pain right there, though. Yeah. Yeah. The, the front of the leg is is pretty vulnerable. There's not a lot of muscle, not a lot of meat covering that part of the leg, last. And if that's where he took the blow, maybe we can see it here. Different angle here. Let's watch. Oh, it yeah. looks like the left leg looks like he got kneed right in the shin. See how he goes right down? And then he grabs right there at the shin. So sure he'll have quite a bruise there. The question is whether it's uh, strong enough for him to continue to play. A couple players now come out though to see if he needs help coming out of the out of the ball game. Now they've got his shoe unlaced. It looks like they're looking a little lower down on the well, way. Well, it, it could be. It could be a bad. Uh, could be a bad ankle. He's getting help right now, and going back into the training room with Tim Gar. We'll try to get a report on that later on. Well, that uh, is a costly loss for Indiana if he's not able to return. But we certainly hope that the injury is not serious, purely from the standpoint of the health of the player. Substitution will be Chris Lawson for Indiana now replacing Anderson. So Chris comes in with monumental responsibility. 27 25, a minute 19. With Brown and now Jackson in control of the ball. Let's see what the Buckeyes try to do. Gents. Looking inside, a lot of motion by Ohio State, but it's all about 25 feet away from the ball. We're going to run some time down off that 45 second clock. About 10 seconds to shoot now. Now Brown is out. Davis, he'll let two fly. That's only two. Alex Davis, 29 25 with 34 seconds remaining. His first half has moved along very rapidly. Now Indiana will look for the last shot. That's the game clock you see on the lower right. Gives it up. Gets it right back. So Pat Graham, the man in control of the ball, in control of the final few seconds of Indiana's first half destiny. Now Reynolds inside, doubled up. Four seconds, three. Graham lets it fly, not going to go. And we come to the end of the first half as that shot by Pat Graham forced up through traffic was well short of its mark. That's the end of the first half with the score. Ohio State 29, Indiana 25. catch up now. Jamal, and it's knocked away and out of bounds. Indiana ball. But always watch that man coming in from behind, and that's what happened. Jim snuck up. Randy Ayers, the first-year coach at Ohio State. And the jump for 6-7, Laz, is very flexible. He can get down low to deflect that ball. Indiana's got a smaller lineup in and a good ball handling lineup for any kind of press Ohio State would put on. Cheney! That's two for Cheney! 29-27 as Calvert Cheney has hit the first two field goals to start this second half. Well, that's what I talked now about. Tie game. Scoreboard slow and catching up. Tie game. Everybody's got to chip in a little. Cheney's gone to it right with the offense. Pat Graham with the board. Reynolds drops it off to Cheney. And Jackson adjusts well. Goal. Reynolds fights for the ball, but it's taken away. Baker. Taken away. Foul. Oh, Bob Knight wants travel. Now it's Tom Rucker with the call. Reynolds doesn't believe it. And there's the Indiana bench wanting the traveling. But Tom Rucker's going to call Chris Reynolds for a slap on the arm before he got the ball and out of bounds to Ohio State. Let's watch. Let's see. Here comes Reynolds. He sneaks in. Well, it's hard to tell. 29-29. Ohio State with the ball. 
a subsequent point at the other end. That's Graham reaching across the wrist and sends Carter to the line. Pat Graham's second foul. Now Indiana, after having gone so long in the first half without any foul, suddenly picks up the first two in the second period. You can see what Ohio State's trying to do. With Anderson out of the lineup, they want to post up their big man inside. Indiana's got a smaller lineup in there, of course, without Anderson. And they're going to let Carter and Jackson try to back up there and go inside. Carter coming off a great game against Northwestern, 21 points and 14 rebounds. Indiana's got to prevent that pass from coming inside. Carter with the free throw. 69% shooter from the strike. And he puts the Buckeyes back on top by one. Now two. 31, 29. Up to Reynolds, right to the glass. No good, a foul. Joe Bola indicates two shots as Chris Reynolds really broken up quickly. Well, that's the use of that quickness inside. If you don't have the size, Indiana's using their quickness. Both Meeks and Reynolds in there. He makes a good move to the basket. Missed the shot, but Carter came down with the foul, and that's his third. An important foul for Ohio State. Randy Ayers needs to decide whether to leave Carter in there or take him out. Davis in, Brown out for the Buckeyes. Reynolds slides the first one over the front of the rim. Still 18 minutes in the ball game. If Carter should pick up his fourth foul now, that would really hurt the inside game that we just talked about that would be to Ohio State's advantage. Ayers has not made a move yet, though. And the second is good. So Indiana knocks it at 31. And we're at the 18-minute mark. 18 left to play. Boy, Reynolds almost got a hand on that. Didn't see where the ball was coming from, though. Indiana with better intensity now to start this second half. Players down on defense, and look how they pressure on the outside. Jackson knocked away by Meeks on the drive. Looks up, takes the face back, and scores. All right, Jamal Meeks snuck up from behind, deflected that ball, and then raced down the floor for the layup, and the crowd is in the ball game now. 33-31, Indiana. Jackson drops it to Davis, who fires and connects. It's a big basket for Ohio State. The momentum really switched to Indiana. And still this crowd buzzing on that steal by Jamal Meeks. That is the first basket, the first field goal by Ohio State here in the second half. Cheney steps up. No. Nover knocked away. Foul. Foul is on Davis, his first. This is the kind of intensity Coach Knight likes to see. A shot missed, just good hustle for the rebound, and that's going to end up in a foul. Paul not shooting, and so out of bounds to Indiana. Two fouls each now for Ohio State and Indiana team foul. Now, the difference in the pace of the game, it's a very quick game, but Indiana is controlling this tempo. They are. Again, that intensity has picked up. Oh, well, that's going to go against Carter. That's his fourth. Well, that's what we talked about. Ohio State decides not to pull Carter, and he gets his fourth foul. And Carter starts to walk to the bench, and uh, there you see Robinson was at the scorer's bench ready to go in for Carter. So a very timely play by Matt Nover because Robinson would have checked in. So Randy Ayers did go to that substitution. It just didn't come in time. Robinson comes in. He's from Canton, Ohio. Played at McKinley. Seven-foot sophomore. And he is playing with two fouls. Just when you think someone has an advantage <laughs> in a game of basketball, yeah. it goes exactly the opposite way. So Anderson for Indiana leaves. And now Carter for Ohio State has to leave. Well, we'll keep you posted and updated on the condition of Eric Anderson. He was taken to Bloomington Hospital for x-rays to his right ankle. We'll just see how serious that is. Jackson off the glass, and it's going to fall. You know, it's interesting, Last, uh, An average shooter can put a ball up like that off the rim, and it will take a very hard bounce off of it, even off the glass. So shooters such as Jackson, three. Uh, that's not going to go. But a shooter such as Jackson can take it, and the ball sort of dies on the rim. A lot of times it'll do that. That one seemed to just lay motionless there before dropping in. 
They call that on Reynolds. Reynolds trying to guard the breakup court by Baker. And that's number three on Chris. Two of those here in the second half. A lot more fouling in here in the second half. And again, to credit that to the intensity of the ball game on both teams' uh, part. Baker really shooting well from the field in the last three ball games. Baker is uh, a 63% shooter from the line. And misses that one. Look how high Nova goes to get the board. Uh, Indiana really jammed up on that side, and Meeks works it out as Nova slipped down to the post. Drops it off. Great pass to Chris Reynolds from Calvert Cheney. Boy, not much of an opening there as Reynolds or as Cheney got triple team. Somehow he got that ball into Reynolds for the shot. Indiana by two, 37-35. Jackson throws it away. Officials timeout, 15-42 left to play. We'll be back right after this word from Anheuser-Busch. Come share this on January 4th. First game of the Big Ten Conference play. And right now he sees his Buckeyes trailing 37-35. The Hoosiers with the ball. Reynolds just breaks it right past Baker. Bounce inside, and it's not going to go, but we have a foul that's going to send Nover to the line. See, Nover's really outsized by the seven-foot Robinson, and so he just uses his quickness to get around him. Use that good body position to draw the foul. That's three on Robinson, so Carter on the bench with four. Now Robinson, his replacement has three fouls. Well, it, it appears, and it's just as obvious to the fans watching tonight as it is to us, Laz, that Indiana is attacking the inside game. And uh, if they get Robinson or Carter in bad position underneath there, uh, they have Ohio State in a heap of trouble. Yeah, Matt Nover's really been responsible for that. He's done an excellent job in today's ball game, averaging just five points for the year. And now he's got 11. Jim clears it out and gives it up to Jamal Brown. 38-35, Indiana with that three-point lead. I don't believe the Hoosiers have led by more than three. Jackson back to Jim. And Jim wants to step in very quick for 6-7. And he carries a good frame, too. He's got a lot of meat on that frame. Davis inside, loose ball on the court. And we have a jump ball called by Phil Bola. And the ball will belong to Indiana. Nobody really had control of it. And there's our cameraman who finally ended up with it. Well, JR is always Johnny on the spot. Here's Craig Lee. Lee will replace Gent. And give some uh, size to oppose Calvert Cheney on this inbounds pass. Look at the turnovers by half. Both teams tied in the first, but four second half turnovers for Ohio State. Indiana with none yet. Well, Indiana breaks that pressure very, very well. Back outside, it goes to Meeks. Pat Graham tries to take it inside. Loose ball. And what do we have? On the line, that's going to be Indiana on the line. Good hustle there by Reynolds. And so the ball goes over to Ohio State on that turnover. You know, each team really appears to be struggling to try to establish the, the pace of this game, the tempo of this game, and, and that's why this play gets a little loose. You've taken both leaders from each team away. Anderson for Indiana, and we talked about Perry Carter in the open for Ohio State, so now they're struggling to find that leadership. Well, Tom Rucker finds out there are 17,178 fans that don't agree with that call. Let's watch. Meeks is down good. Moving his feet, reaching with his hands until there. You see how he reached out there with his right hand. And got called for it. Team fouls are even at four each. 38-35 in the end. And remember, one three-point shot can tie it up. Jamal Brown. Uh, he gets inside and goes up. No good. Tipped in by Robinson. And that's where seven feet helps. 
Robinson's first basket. Reynolds backs it out wisely. 6-1 can't shoot over seven feet. Meets. A little jam up there as Indiana's crossing pattern out on top jams up. That's not going to go. Tipped away. A oh, great save by Jamal. Inside, foul. That's on Robinson. He'll pick up his fourth now. One of the things that the coaching staff has worked with Pat Graham has become more aggressive on offense. Early in the Big Ten season, he'd be open for a three-point shot. Not taken. Watch the save by Jamal first. He gets it to Pat right away. He's going to take a drive. Two dribbles, three dribbles inside. Now he's not afraid to go up with it. He sees he's going to draw the foul there. Can't get that shot away. But, but Pat Graham really looking to score. Moore has been a big plus. Now, Bill Robinson has just picked up his fourth foul. So both Ohio State big men on the bench with four as Graham gets that one to rattle in. Steve Hall, a 6'8 sophomore from Payne, Ohio, averaging about a point, replaces Robinson. Brown gets awfully quiet on this free throw as Pat obliges with his seven points. 40-37, a very crucial stretch right in here if Indiana can have a good four to five minutes in here and keep Ohio State out of this game. That's going to go. That basket will count. And the foul goes against Indiana. They just allowed too much penetration. Right, exactly right there, Chuck. The, the dribble comes in, and nobody cuts it out. Look, Nover's moving to the right. Graham's a couple steps slow to draw the charge. And then good athletic ability by Davis. Or Jamal Brown gets that shot, and Pat Graham has now picked up his third foul. So a relatively foul-free first half has resulted in quite a few players in trouble here in the second half. Brown with a chance to tie this game and does. We are knotted at 40. 13 and a half minutes left. Different kind of pressure here by Ohio State. Half court. Meets. Pat Graham. Reynolds looking inside over to Graham. Oh, good move. Graham goes up to the basket. No good. Nover, it's blocked. He'll go to the line. That foul will be on Steve Hall in to replace Robinson. Now they're going to change that. They're going to call the foul, I believe, on Jackson, number 22. Again, Graham has become that aggressive player on offense. He has to be a lot like Randy Whitman was. Uh, by the way, Randy's in attendance today right behind the Indiana bench. But uh, even if Graham doesn't get the shot, there's a chance for Indiana with the rebound. Matt Nover moving well inside. So the more Graham's aggressive on offense, the better it is for the whole team. Nova's missed two in a row. And this one finds the mark, however. Matt has an even dozen. Well over his average of four and a half. 41 40. New team showing any sign of breaking this open. It's a close game. Oh, Brown back to that. Lee to this stage has not been a factor. Jackson underneath the hall. Hall gets it to roll. Steve Hall, 6'8", 218, a sophomore from Payne, Ohio. Doesn't see a lot of action, but with the foul trouble, he's in the ball game, got two points. Let's watch Indiana's strategy against this inside game, and uh, there's a ball thrown just a little bit too hard to Nova, couldn't control. Jackson shut off. Lee steps up and gets a little soft roll over the rim. Craig Lee, and all of a sudden, Ohio State is back on top by three. We mentioned that both teams play man-to-man, -man, but Ohio State was in the zone that time. And now, again, it's a half-court trap. They fall back into a three-two zone, and Indiana threw it away. Craig Lee went right to the hoop with it. Again, zone defense by Ohio State this time down. Meeks trying to figure out where to attack this. It's going to take a while to position everybody. It's to meet uh, Jamal's job. He's got to take the point now, direct people where he wanted him to go. And he'll fire. No good. The rebound. Oh, great effort by Indiana. And a travel by Rucker. And Bob Knight is just vehement over that call. We have a 
timeout. 11 and a half minutes remaining in this half and in the game. It's 44-41 Ohio State. Back after these messages. This is the Raycom Sports and 44-41. The time remaining 11 minutes 38 seconds. Craig Lee has not been a factor in this game, but on this particular drive, he gives Ohio State a three-point lead. Shot fake gets Matt Nover out of the way, and then Lee comes in. A soft shot just rolls over the front of the rim. It'll be Ohio State to bring it up. Thanks to that last turnover by Indiana travel crawl. Let's take a look at this. Ohio State's made their last four shots from the field to draw into that three-point lead. Jackson and bounces inside. Lee comes right back down with the ball. No call. Indiana had a hand on it. And that's off the rim. No good. Jackson right back up for two. Jimmy Jackson gets good inside position as Indiana's blockout breaks down. You can see what a great leaper he is. He knew he had the lane to the basket there. And suddenly Ohio State's got the five-point lead still in that 3-2 zone. Galbert Cheney. And a little shuffle and a drag of the foot. Another turnover. Indiana's got to remain a little more patient on that offense with three point guards out there or three players across the free throw line. The opening's got to be on the baseline. We've seen Indiana many times this year. Calvert Chain, particularly on that left side, get that baseline jumper. They've got to move the defense around until that opening's there on the baseline for the shot. Well, this score was tied at 40. And a drive on the inside, and the foul goes against. Alex Davis and I don't know if the basket's going to count or not. Let's wait to see. They do. They count the, ba the basket by Davis, but also award him with his second foul. Here's the play inside. Cheney's got good position. A little nudge there from Matt Nover. The ball released before the foul, so it counts. Davis picks up his second foul, and Cheney goes to the other end for a one-on-one. -on -one. Cheney with 10 points. Big difference in free throws today. Indiana 12 of 16, and they've not let Ohio State go to the line, just three out of five. So Calvert, that's his first free throw. 6'6 freshman from Evansville Harrison, averaging 15 and a half points a game. It's the second. He has 12 to tie Matt Nover for team honors. 48-43, Ohio State. And we have 10 and a half minutes to play. Treg Lee works over and over, and it's not going to go. Cheney clears. Off to Graham, back to Reynolds. Underneath to Nova, back to Graham. Good play by Nova there. Once you get the ball inside, if you trap, Moving we back outside, now Graham's ready to take that shot. That's not going to go. Pulled down by Hall. Steve Hall, 6'8". And he's seeing action because Robinson and Perry Carter are in foul trouble. Back to Jackson. To Davis. Penetration. And no basket. Knocked away by Lee. Foul on Lee. State's really forcing the action at the offensive end. Trent Lee draws the foul on that offensive rebound, but Ohio State's doing it with the drives in the middle, particularly by the guards. That shot missed, and now Jamal goes to the line. So Indiana able to creep back here from the foul line. Lads, uh, a penetration, even if it's just a little bit under that free throw line, doesn't it have a tendency to pull the help side up, and that opens up the inside a little? It does, and that's why you've got to keep those guards out of the middle because they can create so much trouble inside, not only by making that 10-foot shot, but passing off or giving the, uh, the opposing team offensive rebound position, which we've seen today. Meeks, two for two. And it's 48-45 as Indiana whittles back into that lead. Brown patiently waits. Jackson inside the hall, knocked away. Good defense by Indiana. Meeks, oh, he wants to move with that. Down to Cheney, back out to Jamal. Dalvin will let it fly.
Seven straight points by Indiana. Draws him right back in. A nice three-point shot by Cheney. Knocked away. Here's a sprint. Meets for two. Indiana has the lead. And suddenly the tempo's back the other way. Second time in the ball game, Mix has made that same play, sneaking from behind. Indiana nine straight points now. Craig Lee wants to go on Nover. Nover says no. Jackson, there's a good move by Jackson. Wheels back. No foul. Davis. Little push by Brown into Meeks. No call on that. Now Meeks really taking a blow. He's laying off about 10 feet. Good adjustment. Good adjustment by Indiana. Switch over the top. Three on the way. Oh, boy, I'll tell you. The shot clock was coming down. It was five seconds. Brown looked pretty well guarded. And he puts Ohio State back in the lead. 51 50s to score at the eight minute mark. Inside the Nover. It's not going to go, but he'll go to the line. See, with a little more patience now against his zone, Indiana's been getting a good shot. And it's been Nover moving around the inside, who's been able to receive those passes. That time the foul. He'll be at the line for two. Carter's had a long rest. He's coming back in. Hall is coming out. Hall committed that last foul. Baker is back in, and Baker will replace Davis. So Randy Ayer is making a lot of adjustments here as he gets ready for this final seven minutes and 57, 56 seconds. Found about over his best game. He had 11. His last game this year has been 11. He has 13. Tonight. Make that 14. We have an official timeout. 7.56 left to play. Indiana 52, Ohio State 51. Back after these messages. The sophomore Jamal Meeks is able to do. Sneaks up right from behind. A good slap there. You avoid the foul that way. And twice now he's been able to chase that ball down and beat the defense down for the layup. Two points for Indiana. You know, it's amazing. Meeks is only 6'1". It's, it's just amazing to me how quickly they can cover the court, Les, with just a few strides. You well, know, uh, it's, the players seem to get quicker and quicker each year, and then you add that great hand coordination, hand-eye coordination that Jamal has. He flicks the ball not out of bounds, but down the court so he can recover with it and get the layup. Barry Carter back in. There's the post by Carter, and that's over and over. Good defense by Nover. Carter just outsizes him on that. Makes it look easy, but that was a difficult shot on the hook. And you can see right away, Ohio State wants to go to Carter whenever he's in the ballgame. Carter playing with four fouls. Now the question is whether Indiana can go inside and work against him. There's the pass. He wants to go up. He does. And Carter has to release. See that? You're exactly right. Nover knew that Carter wouldn't make that body contact to draw that fifth and left him with a layup. There's Lee outside. Back to Brown, Lee, Jackson, Trent Lee inside to Carter. He wants to go up again. This time it doesn't go. Chris Reynolds at 6-1 pulls it away. Bob inside, and he wants to go again, but out of position. So Nover elects to kick it back on top. Pat Graham, that's a good move on Jackson. Goes up, follow, reverse layup by Jamal Meeks. 56-53 Indiana. Another example of Graham being aggressive offensively that leads to an Indiana basket. Baker, Lee, back to Baker. He's in three-point area. Great defense by Reynolds. Even though Indiana doesn't come up with the ball, the fact that they destroyed Ohio State's offensive scheme at that particular time is good. All right, anytime you can deflect that pass that's coming in, that's a help. Brown leads, Davis comes in. Now the ball comes right into Lee. Good defense by Indiana. I think Cheney got a hand on that. Like he blocked that because the ball came up well short of the rim. Oh boy, I'll tell you. 
Meat had Lee back on his heels and could have taken him inside, I think. Elected to come back up. Indiana right now on a 15 to 5 run. Yeah! Three! Calvacini! Make that 18 to 5 now. It was 48 41. Ohio State's going to take time out. 5 42 left to play. 59 53. Indiana. We'll be back after these messages. This is the Raycon Sports and Entertainment Network. Corner by Calvert Cheney. Watch Meeks now as he dishes off into the corner. He's Set. directing some offense. Set the offense up. The pick by Graham. Three points by Cheney. Gives Indiana their biggest lead at six points. 59 53 is the score. Ohio State with the ball. There's the three pointers. Indiana only three of eight. But they've been three big ones at big times. Jackson wants to go inside, knocked away. Offensive foul on Jimmy Jackson. Pushed off as Meeks moved up to contest on the loose ball. You can see Meeks being backing away. The call was a little slow. Randy Ayers doesn't agree with it, but Jackson picks up his third player control, so it's no free throw uh, attempt, but out of bounds to Indiana in the backcourt. Now, this is deep in the backcourt, so it's Reynolds flashing back for the ball. And again, Ohio State breaks off the pressure although Baker is staying right in Reynolds face. Now this group for Indiana has played the whole second half done an excellent job. Scramble for the ball look at the dive on the court for the ball jump ball and that's going to go to Ohio State. Good hustle and we have Calvert Cheney down. Now let's wait to see if he's hurt. I certainly hope he's not. Now he's all right. Little grimace on the face. And you always wince when you're sitting up here. Looked like he just had his arm twisted yeah. around a little bit. Just need to get out of that position. But this group has played the second half and with great intensity. Even though they've gotten down a few times, they've come right back. And now to uh, have the lead, just five minutes left in the ballgame. Jackson really threatening the shot. Cheney right in his face. Contact underneath between Perry Carter and Matt Nova, who just played a sensational game on Carter through these two halves. Jackson, boy, they're doubling down. Jackson will fire. That's not going to go. And the rebound to Cheney. Gets it out of trouble to Meeks. Right down the middle. Meeks is going to take it in. Gives it to Pat Graham. Oh, flip back out. And that's going to be a solo by Jackson. Offensive foul. No, they call the block on Reynolds. Well. It looked like Bain went behind his head, which is a signal for an offensive yeah. foul. But the call goes against Reynolds as Bain comes over to the bench. Watch the pass. See, Reynolds is coming up, and he got there after Carter had left, so Bain just made a mistake putting that hand behind his head. And Carter gets a chance now for a three-point play. Perry Carter with 10. It's 59-55, and suddenly... A three-point potential makes the game out of it again. 4.29 left to play. Carter drawing the wrath of this crowd. And the loose ball is picked up by Jackson off the board. Goes back to Carter. Blocked away. And into the hands of Mulder. Oh, Calvert Cheney went high behind two Indiana defenders to knock that one away. Carter thought all he had to do was get it over Graham, which he did. But Cheney came from behind. Cheney. Down to Pat Graham. Back to Cheney. Cheney's playing out on top now. Reason last? No, just to get the offense set up. He was in a position there for a release. And now he's back in there where he should be. Cheney shoots over Jim. Two more. And just as at Michigan State, Calvert Cheney has taken charge. Remember when Anderson went out first half with three personal fouls. Anderson out now with an injury. And that's not going to go. And Cheney again with a big board. Boy, I'll tell you, he and Nova have owned them. Right, Indiana doing a great job in there with that small lineup not to give Ohio State those second chances. Oh, almost threw that one-handed pass away. Underhanded shuffle out to Pat Graham. Pat moves that ball out of range. Cheney with two dribbles to Nova. Three minutes, 14 seconds, Indiana by six, 61-55. Cheney will let three go. No, that's not going to go. Look who's under the basket. Graham, foul on Jim over the shoulder. And that will send Indiana to the line one and one. 
first foul talk, on Jim. Talk about everybody chipping in a little bit, and that's exactly what's happened here in the second half. A good shot outside misses, but Pat Graham there for a rebound is going to give him a chance at the foul line. Jim's first foul. Laz, what you're talking about in this total cooperation is something that I guess you and I, since we have watched Indiana so much, it's the motion and rotation that puts every man in a position. It's a unique opportunity because I'll bet you there are a lot of times in practice, Anderson's always on there with the yeah. first team. And you really would never take him out because you know he's always going to be in there. So this group has probably not played together in a practice situation. But you throw them into a second half and they have an eight point lead. 63 55 305 left to play. We'll be back after these messages. Approximately five minutes, four minutes, 57 seconds. They have outscored Ohio State 12 to 5. Ohio State is yet to get to the line in one and one. Indiana has only 16 fouls. The tempo has been a quick one, Chuck, but Indiana still has controlled it with just aggressive play on the defensive end. The, the big steals, two steals by Jamal, have really got the crowd going. And the offensive rebounding, just everybody really doing what they have to. Now it's time to knuckle down on the defense. Jim from the side for three. That takes a high bound off the glass, off the top of the board. That's tipped up and in by Perry Carter. Carter crashing on the help side for two. And Meeks brings it right up. Inside the attack, two points. No foul. Jim and Pat Graham both went down, but Pat with the big basket, his 11th point. Indiana answering everything Ohio State is throwing up right now. Oh, they're Jackson. staying aggressive at the, at the game instead of trying to hold on to the lead. Oh, that misses everything. Now at the 216, 215 mark, a foul as Gent reaches in. That's the wrong man you want to foul. Pat Graham, one of the best free throw shooters on the team. Well, with just 2.14 to go, Ohio State's got to use some pressure to try to force some turnover. I'm going to say a happy 54th birthday to Bruce Jeffers of Wabash, Indiana. Bruce, if you're watching, happiest of birthdays to you, and I hope you're enjoying the game. Graham is having quite a night. Not his highest by far. He's had a season high of 23, but this... 12 that he has right now, very important. Well, they've been key points because Jamal, Calvert Chaney, and Pat Graham have all had great second halves along with Matt Nover. And again, this helps the scoring that you would have gotten from Anderson, but yeah. since you're not, all four players have contributed. Oh, this crowd's really showing its appreciation now. Baker knocked away, saved, or oh, right back into the hands of Jant as Graham goes over the scorer's bench. No foul, up off the glass, get that basket to 32, Perry Carter. Jent right on the shoulder of Meeks. And there's a bump, Jent, his third foul, and he pleads it to Jim Bain. That's going to send Meeks to the line. Patrick Knight is back from his uh, prep school out east. He's on uh, spring break. Take a look now. Good pass. See how he Pat reached out with the left hand, watching come right over the scorer's table. Down on the cement. The managers really couldn't get to him in time. Gave Ohio State a little five on four advantage and they were able to score. But Indiana right back with the foul. Thing I was going to mention about Jamal Meeks uh, during the last break when Patrick came in from the East Coast, he and Jamal were out shooting free throws out here after a practice. And uh, Jamal was helping him out a little bit, showing him the technique and the proper way to shoot it. And Jamal obliges us by not making a fool out of me as he hits both those. Jackson brings it up. Indiana by 10, 69-59. Baker drives on Reynolds. Jackson for three. Oh, that makes a difference. And Ohio State calls timeout as Jimmy Jackson pops for three points from the side. A minute 34 remaining, 69-62 Indiana. We'll be back after these messages. The, the big question right now is, what does Ohio State do? Do they have to foul out? Well, they've got to try to make that steal and convert. This is the exact opposite of what happened at Ohio State. Look at the Hoosiers at the line. 
they don't want to foul Meeks or Graham. These are the players in the lineup. Chris Reynolds would look like to be the guy Ohio State wants to have up there. All right, it's Meeks to bring it up the middle of the court, and he breaks it right across the line immediately over the shoulder. Davis commits the foul. So not too much time off that clock. Meeks not afraid to bring that ball up. That's great to see. Keeps a low dribble, always keeping his head, looking around to see who might be sneaking up from behind. And now he wants to go to the line. Jamal Brown is out. Barry Carter is checking the lineup. Now it's Carter Jackson with Jim. Davis and Baker for Ohio State. Little breath, deep breath by Jamal Meeks. Six foot sophomore from Freeport, Illinois. Come on, Baker. We still got it, Baker. Let's go. Average is a little bit under four points a game, and he's really better than that. Look at this concentration. Second is good, too. He has 14 tonight. And he got it back to a nine-point lead, 71-62, with a minute 25. Baker drives right inside and gets it. A push-off on Jet. Actually, no foul there. And uh, whistle, what do we have? A foul immediately. They go right to uh, Chris Reynolds. They're going to send Reynolds to the line to shoot. Ohio State's doing what they have to get that quick score and then try to send Indiana to the line. Remember, Indiana was down eight with a minute 12 to go at Ohio State and had a chance at the buzzer with a shot that missed. So Ohio State trying for the same thing here, although Indiana really showing good composure uh, against this press. Oh, he gets this one and is he a later? He left that a little short but got that good roll. For it to drop in. And he has got to still put pressure on. You don't want Ohio State just to be able to come right down the floor and score at will. And the second is good. So Reynolds at 48% drops in both on a one and one. 73 64. Baker, it's off the front of the rim. No good. Loose ball on the court. And a foul will go against Indiana. That's on Pat Graham. And that's four on Pat. Indiana trying to come up with that rebound. The Carter, bigger than everybody out there right now, stays hard after that ball. Graham has to make the foul to avoid the layup. A minute 34 has ticked down now to only a minute nine. So with that 25 seconds, work off the clock. And it's Perry Carter to shoot one and one. It's not going to go. Jim gets the board. Back outside. They'll fire it up. It's off the glass. No good. And there's Calvert Cheney. Meets. Over to Graham. Indiana. Releasing the pressure by getting the passes up court before defense can adjust. Inside. Drops it back out. There's Reynolds. High lob out to Cheney. Indiana 43 seconds. Now to Cheney. And a foul. And that's going to go against 22. Jimmy Jackson, his fourth. For good patience there, not to throw the ball away on the turnover. This group, Chuck, has just played an excellent half of basketball. And again, they probably haven't played as a unit in practice yeah. before. But uh, that's the concept, is regardless of who's in the ball game, you do the same type of things. Noel Anderson was not here for the second half. These players knew how to run the offense, what to do on the principles on defense, how to block out. And Indiana's going to win this ball game as they have a 10-point lead now with just 40 seconds to go and really give them a good shot at tying for that sixth-place uh, position in the Big Ten, which would then give them a good shot of going to the NCAA tournament. Uh, Meeks is six for six. He was five. He hit his first five shots from the field, or, or he his first five came from the field. That's off the rim, no good. The rebound to Matt Nova, that's a big board, and that'll just about wrap it up at 29 seconds. Graham comes up to Cheney. Slam dunk! Oh, ho, ho! There's the icing, 77-64. Baker inside. It's not going to go. Tipped in by Perry Carter. Carter just out-muscled Matt Nova for that board. Indiana's got to get it across. No, they don't. They throw it up. This game is over. What a big win for the Hoosiers. Well, I'll tell you, Les, such a closely fought contest over at Ohio State. Indiana coming out short by 269-67. And in the first half here, 
The Hoosiers going in down by five at halftime, 29-25, and then losing Eric Anderson very, very early, or very late in the first half, about a minute and 20 seconds remaining, and uh, it's just a great comeback. Has done an outstanding job tonight. Played the boards at both ends. Ended up with 16 points. His best game by far as a Hoosier. And there's the final score, and it reflects on overplay. The team in there for that second half did a great job. All the things they had to came from behind and increased the lead to a final 11 point margin. So that's it 77 66. And along with my colleague John Laskowski, this is Chuck Marlowe saying so long from Assembly Hall in Bloomington where the final score once again was Indiana 77 and Ohio State.